Here we go, back again with a quick match preview and it's ended tonight. Sunderland won Swindon Town nil, and we made that so much harder than we ever needed to make it. It was a really long, difficult, frustrating night tonight. It really was Sunderland with a makeshift side. So, you know, you have to give them due where credit is due because our defence is even more makeshift than it has ever been in our history, it has to be. 3-4-3, three, three. power comes into the defensive lineup because McLaughlin, for some reason, wasn't in the starting lineup where he was injured. I don't know, but wasn't in the starting lineup. So tonight's game kicked off and we had Luke going nine, Sanderson and Max Power in a makeshift centre backs. Not one of them, not one of them were brought in the centre backs. Not one of them. So this is how good the keep a clean sheet is being quite good, I suppose. Then we had Winchester. And Winchester and Scowen in the centre of midfield were McFadzine. And also we had Gooch. Yes, Gooch. Then we had we had we had Aidan O'Brien coming on the, from the bench, but in the, up, up front we had McGeady, we had Jones, and we had Charlie Wyke. So that was our start lineup tonight. So it was a 3-4-3. Now I was pleased it was rather than a 4 2 2 2. Now, it was frustrating because we dominated most of the match. Swindon is one of the poorest sides I've seen so far this season. We played them twice, beat them twice, but for the first 75 minutes, they were terrible. They give the ball away at every opportunity. And basically, they may as well have come to the stadium like the night with a big bit of cake, put in the centre spot, and said, Right, lads. Go down, take a piece of cake, because that's how easy it's going to be to play against us tonight. Because they were absolutely dire. They give the ball away at every opportunity. In Sunderland, we didn't do much better. We couldn't create anything. Jones was one of the better players in the first half. McGeady was lackluster in the first half. Winchester couldn't unlock his own door. Scowling again, passing the ball badly. Couldn't do anything with the ball. Create a diddly squat. And Gooch... Had one or two small moments with Jones, but we didn't do anything with the ball. You know, we didn't have any clear cut opportunities, no clear cut chances. And for all the possession we had, our final ball in the box was terrible. And as the first half went on, we started to pass the ball just as bad as Swindon. It was one of the worst games of football I've ever watched. I can't imagine. You can imagine seeing a Sunday League team playing, two Sunday League teams playing somewhere in Durham. The kind of quality of football on short night. That's how bad the first half was. You know, I'm not exaggerating. It was absolutely terrible. Terrible football. And I did allude to say it was kind of, oh, it was just one of the worst games I've seen. Second half comes out. I'm hoping a bit of a change from Lee Johnson. A few substitutions. We came out and Jones started to play badly. We didn't pass the ball well again. We, pos we had the best possession. And Swindon, again, just give the ball away time after time after time. And we couldn't do anything with it. We could not do anything with the ball until the King Maguire was brought on. The Maguire came on, Jones went off. We brought Aidan O'Brien on, Gooch went off injured. Now that changed the game a bit, the King Maguire. We got a free kick down by the right-hand side outside the penalty area. And the King Maguire steps up to the plate, second game on the trot. He plays the ball at the box. What a fantastic free kick. A bit of skill. You know, absolutely amazing. It was like that kick in the middle of the pitch. This was the icing on the kick with a candle on top. Ball into the box. And there is Charlie White. One touch. Charlie White heads the ball. Bottom left hand side. He scores again. Charlie White. Absolutely an amazing finish. Their keeper was just like that. Like a statue. Couldn't do anything about it. No sooner as we let have we scored the goal with 15 minutes to go or whatever it was. I'm watching the goal again here. Watch the ball in the box. Charlie White runs. Again, again, Charlie White, he runs from the corner of the penalty area into the centre of the penalty spot and flicks the ball on bottom corner. He's full of confidence. He's doing really well. But Swindon, after that, woke up. Couple of subs from the manager and Swindon came to life and we alluded to give the ball away. We alluded to give them possession. We did our best to give them an equalising goal. And if it wasn't from the brilliances of Burge, Burge for me night being fantastic. Never had a great deal to do. His catch-ups was great. He caught everything. He collected everything. Made one or two decent saves. Swindon had two shots probably all night. And the second shot 
They were clean through left hand side. He gets the ball, he runs in, he shoots. Burge rushes off his line, makes himself absolutely monstrously big, saves it. Fantastic save, and we clear the line. So that was the, the, the real opportunity for Swindon to equalise. was a brilliant save from Burge. And then late on, we kept on giving free kicks away in stupid positions. We had the ball with Maguire with one and a half minutes to go. He goes for goal. We could have kept the ball, gone in the corner, killed time. Maguire. Went for shot, keeper got the ball, kicked the ball out, run up their end, they got a free kick. Last 15 seconds of the match, a free kick, ball floats in, and it gets headed on. Hey, we're watch it now, ball floats in, free kick comes in. Hits the crossbar straight from the free kick, he went for the shot. Top of the crossbar, I think Burge had a cut, watch it again, watch it again. Brilliant, right foot floated in. I think Burge had it covered. If it, if it was a bit lower, Burge would have tipped it over. I thought Burge was brilliant tonight. They hit the, they hit the crossbar, but squeaky bum time. They give you palpitations. They, they make you, you know, get sweaty armpits. They do the things you don't want a team to do. And Sunderland got the three points. They did get a corner swing. They got the bond box. We cleared it. I thought best players tonight. It was the pick of a bad bunch, right? I'm going to say a bad bunch. I'm going to say a lot of players were off form. The midfield wasn't great. Gooch ended up not very good. John's second half was terrible. He, he got took off. But overall, I'm going to say, I'm going to give it to Burge. I'm going to give man of the match to Lee Burge because I thought he didn't put a foot wrong. He was the only player not really to put a foot wrong on the pitch. Luke going nine again was a stalwart in defence, doing it out of position, playing brilliant, heading everything for a small man, heads really high, up in the air. One opportunity, he ran forward with the ball. One of the, 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 no, the odd times he got the hour, hour inside their half, ran with the ball, created opportunity, and Matt Fadzin fluffed it. So I'm going to give it, and also Max Power. I thought Max Power drove the team on well. It's not his fault the rest of the team can't pass the ball. And Max Power drove on well. I saw a bit of determination, a bit of grit, a bit of steel. You know, he's shouting at the players, trying to galvanise the players when the players make mistakes. He's, he's, he's on the shoulders telling them to sort themselves out. So yes, Max Power is sort of grown more into a captain's role. So tonight, Burge Power, Luke going 9-3. Worst players, <coughs> I'm going to say... I thought Mac Fadzine wasn't very good. I thought Mac Fadzine was poor. I thought Scowan again was again was Scowan esque. It didn't do anything at all. He was very poor running with the ball, passing, giving the ball away a lot. Um, I haven't got a bent head off with Pat Scowan at all. I want Scowan to do well. Winchester again. I, I don't even. He does the simple things in midfield. Winchester, but it's not good enough for me. It's not good enough. And again, Gooch huffed and puffed. Got great opportunities. Great positions. But the final delivery was shocking. So after the palpitations, after the squeaky bum time, after the you know the slight sort of heart murmurs, we end up winning one nil, three points. I'm over the moon with three points. I have no idea where we are in the league now. I'll have a quick look. I'll have a quick smidgy. I know that Lincoln were getting beat, which is good for Sunderland. Lincoln were getting beat. Ipswich were beat that in the standing, which is good again. Doncaster were winning. Which is not too good. But they were beating Portsmouth. So again, we couldn't move up the table a little bit. Let's have a look at this. Very interesting tonight. We're going to look at Sunderland now. Let's look at the results again. Hull won. Portsmouth got beat of Donk Astaire. Ipswich won. And Lincoln got beat off Simon Grayson's Fleetwood. Now that's a surprise because I thought they were terrible against us. Here's the table. Look at it now. Not be long. The goal was scored 70 minutes from Charlie White. And the table is Sunderland are in fourth place. That's brilliant with five points off second. Five points behind Hull. Remember, we have two games in hand over Hull. We jump above Portsmouth. At the moment, Peterborough are player 31-62. They're clear. Hull, 33-59. Lincoln, 31-57. Sunderland, 31-54. Portsmouth, 31-52. Dunk Aston, 29-52. Seventh place, Ipswich, 30-50. So we are eight points behind Peterborough. Now... <clears throat> Did Peterborough actually draw tonight? Yes, Peterborough drew with Oxford. So that's another good result. Two points dropped. So it's been a good night for Sunderland all round. So here we go. It wasn't a great game. It was one of the worst games of football, passing-wise. But we, we ground it out. We got the result. Charlie White, again, a brilliant goal. Again, I said, I said Burge. I said Power. And I said 0-9 were the better players. But Charlie White didn't do much wrong. He 
he scored the goal. So well done, Charlie White, on that fantastic finish. And the King Maguire came on and had a good, you know, good few minutes he was on. Created that assist. The White, brilliant moment. So those players there had a good night. The rest of them were hitting Missy, right? Take care, good luck, and we'll see you on Saturday for the live stream. Actually, tomorrow, I'll do a match preview for the weekend. Hey, right, catch you later. I need to go and get a... I don't get a shower, I think, after all that sweating. Bloody hell. That was a close finish towards the end, mate. Good night. God bless me. God go with you. Take care.